20 years ago today. Super Mining Bro uploaded a video to YouTube. Hey guys, it's Super Mining Bro here, and welcome back to another video. Yes, that is correct, another video. I know it's been over a year, and I apologize greatly. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I haven't had a computer to record with. Now, I'm getting another chance to record. Please forgive me. All of my um, new subscribers, I know the whole point of subscribing to a channel is to get notified. Haven't get been getting notified? Sorry about that. Guess what? Now you're getting notified. So, this is a game, a pretty obscure game. It's called Maniac Mansion. A lot of people probably don't know it. I love it. Uh, I really like this game. It was originally a computer game in 1987 and it got ported to the NES in 1990. I'm playing the NES version because I just love that version so much more. Um, the cool thing about Maniac Mansion is you actually kind of get to choose your own party. There are seven kids, you always have to be eight. But, you get to choose two other kids. I always choose Sid and Michael. There's also Jeff, who, and so it's just Surfer dude, that's good. Wendy is a novelist. Bernard is a geek award winner, so he's a mechanic, kind of. And Razor is a musician. Sid is also a musician, but he has cool sunglasses, so I choose him over Razor. And Michael is a a photographer and he can develop film. So they all have different skills and stuff. I just like I just prefer this party. You could choose any party you want if you ever want to try this game out. Okay, this looks like the old mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fretted Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be dangerous. If anyone wants out Let's do it. Did any of you guys see that movie? Four kids went into the strange house and... Uh, never mind. So, how do we get into the mansion? Um, we can try looking for a key under the door. Okay, let's go rescue Sandy. All right, so I know it looks kind of crazy. There's a bunch of verbs you got at the bottom of the screen that you can use. Like I said, it was originally a computer game, which is why it looks like this. You actually control the mouse with the D-pad. It's kind of funky sometimes, but I can work with it. Um, so the you can't actually play as all of the kids um, at the same time. You switch between them simultaneously. I think that's the right word. Um, but the cool thing is you can select new kid and pick between the three different kids to get things done in the mansion. And most of the time you're gonna need a key to open the door. So I found this key underneath the doormat and you can use the key in the front door to open it. Right now I'm playing as Dave. I'm probably instantly gonna lose him. There are people in this mansion that want to capture you and throw you in the dungeon. It's okay if that happens, you can take, you can get them out. Um, I might actually get Dave captured here. As soon as you start the game, there's always Edna in here who wants to kidnap you. So, yeah, yeah, she got me. Whatever, that's okay. It's okay if you get caught there. Um, so, just wait until I talk to your mother. So, Edna's gonna take you into the other room. This is Edna, by the way, the wife of the main bad guy. She's here with Edna. There is actually a loose brick right there that you can push, but you have to have two people to do it. Like, if I just have Dave in here, it's like impossible to get over there in time. So, looks like I'm gonna have to switch to a new kid here. Most of the time you do get caught there, so if you do, just switch to Michael or any other kid that you want. I'll try I switch to Michael. So, after she kidnaps Dave, you're good to go back in the mansion. Um, and back into the kitchen, it's not going to be there anymore. Um, I guess I'll explain the story. So basically the plot here is that, um, Dave's girlfriend, Sandy, as you saw in that opening country, uh, cut scene there, got kidnapped by the evil Dr. Fred. You find out later, he's not actually evil. He's a good guy. And 20 years ago, today, in the intro, like I showed, 
Um, no, it wasn't actually 20 years ago that I uploaded a YouTube video, in case you were wondering. Um, but a purple meteor crashes into this guy's yard and takes over basically their minds, or just his mind. And he wants to, like, take over the world. As he's trying to suck out Dave's girlfriend, Sandy's brains. So, you are going to the mansion to try to save her. There, I, as you saw there, I took some stuff out of the refrigerator. I really only need those things. Um, you can take everything if you want. I just take the old batteries, the cheese, and the can of Pepsi. You most definitely need the can of Pepsi. Um, alright, here's a shelf. This always happens, by the way. Don't worry if this happens to you while you're playing a game. It always happens. If you try to get the ball or developer here. Whoops! You break it. Um, you don't mess up there. That always happens. You want that to happen. Okay, first question. Gee, I'm hungry. So this is Ed. He's the, the kid. The teenager. And I'm actually just going to sit here for a little bit. Because he's going into the kitchen to get the cheese. That's why I got the cheese. So that, yeah, he won't be able to get the cheese and feed it to his hamster. Because I'm mean. So, I'm just going to wait a second in here. So basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get into this secret lab, and you're trying to defeat the evil meteor. Well, at first you're trying to defeat the Dr. Fred, but... Tum -tum 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 -tum. Where's the cheese? You're trying to actually defeat the meteor because he just took over Dr. Fred's mind and just made him a maniac, and the name, Maniac Mansion. So now he's gone. We don't have to worry about that. Ed actually is a good guy. You can actually become friends with him by giving him his package, which will appear eventually. Um, there is a package that comes outside. Um, I guess I'll get the flashlight here. I don't really need it. I guess I'll get it. Most of the time there's a light switch in our room, but you never know. I might need a flashlight. So... Yeah, this is a really cool game. I just enjoy it a lot. And I thought that it is getting close to Halloween, and this could be considered a horror game. It's not really that scary. But if you want to, you can call it a horror game. And I decided that I would want to... That I, I decided I was going to play Maniac Mansion for Halloween. And it's just a fun game that I thought that would be a good idea to play this. as one of the first videos that I've made in a while. So this, is, this game can actually be really cryptic. There's a lot of very cryptic secrets in it. Um, like this right here. I didn't realize this for a while, but this gargoyle statue on the right here, you can actually push it, and it opens that door there. And then you can switch to the other kid and standing in front of it. And then you can move it. This one might look a little bit scary. Oh good, a nuclear reactor. Yeah, I know. Just don't mess with it. You'll be okay. Then, okay. You know, it would be stupid if this light switch was attached to the nuclear reactor. That would be, like, the lamest troll ever. If, like, you go for turning on the light switch and it just turns on the freaking nuclear reactor and blows up the whole house. That can't happen, by the way. You can blow up the entire house. And that happens frequently. <laughs> um... The only reason you want to come into this room is to get the silver key. That's actually... A better name for it would be the back door key. Because it actually allows you access to the, um, the back area. Um, you need to get to the pool at one point. So, yeah. You need that. Now I guess it's time to head up here. Then it's supposed to sit again. Like, Wait, actually, I just almost forgot this. The package does come pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is have Sid positioned outside right here. I think if you have it on the exact screen and you have the mailbox like in sight, it will never come. So just have a character standing right there. This is turning into a walkthrough. <laughs> I'm just trying to play the game. It's turning into a walkthrough. Whatever. I like sharing my knowledge. So, I guess it's about time to head up here. Um, at first, oh my gosh, here's a story. So, when I first played this game, I, like, never, I just took one look at the steel security door and I thought, it's locked. And I played through the whole game and I got completely stuck in this one area. I had no idea what to do. And guess what? 
freaking open. I never even tried. It looks like, it definitely looks like you cannot open it. You can though, and that screwed me, and I lost. Because I had no idea what to do. And by the way, I did forget to mention this at the beginning. This game is on, this whole game is on the time limit. I will say the time, oh, cut it. Well, my dear, I hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll all be over. You'll be hooked up to my machine. Get I got you. Brains removed. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I'm recording a video. Is it working? Yep. You'll never get away with this. This is uh, my papa, you guys, right now. Um, he just walked in. David, his friends will rescue me. Oh, wait, that was the wrong person. You and your meteor can use fun. Put in the New York Mansion. That's what she thinks. Okay. So, just bye. Um. So you're supposed to get the bowl of wax fruit there. You can actually. You remember when I was in the dining room? There's actually um the old rotting turkey and like the week old roast and stuff. Um. Uh, you can feed that to a tentacle later on. It doesn't actually work there. You're supposed to feed him the bowl of wax fruit. So make sure to get the bowl of wax fruit. This is the music room here. Um, I'll show you something cool. You can actually, oh, no, turn off, turn on. You can actually head over to the TV and turn it on. And you can watch this. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians, game designers. I'm Mark Eater, or a tier, and my company publishes anything. Just mail it to the address shown below. Don't forget the stamp. So yeah, that is something. That's actually an option. I I guess you could call it a side quest, kind of. It's an optional thing. You don't have to do it, but you can actually send like um. I think if you're playing as a certain character, you can send like a cassette tape to him and have him publish it, which is cool. You can send um, a manuscript to him and have him publish it. And that's cool. But yeah. Um, I'm not going to be doing that this time. I have a different way of doing things. So I guess, um, how long have we been recording now for? Like, um, how long have we been recording now for? Not like, five, like, how long? Like, ten minutes, maybe? I want my videos to be, like, ten minutes long, so I don't really know if it's a good time to stop now. Um, I guess I could call it quits for this video. Um, so, but I do have one thing that I want to do. This is the tentacle, by the way. <laughs> Take me and you can pass. I'll do that next time. I'll call quits for today. There is something that I want to do before I quit this video, and that is give a shout out to a YouTuber that I like called um, ZeldaBoy57. He is actually one of my friends. And I, uh, his videos are really cool. He. He makes really good videos, and all I'm saying is you should go subscribe to him after, like, after, like, right now, like, finish this, like, finish this video, and then, like, go subscribe to him. He makes a lot of really cool videos. He likes, he does some of the same uh, kinds of videos that I do, like, Mario and Zelda, and he likes Super Smash Bros. and Kirby and all that stuff. He really likes Pokemon. He did some Pokemon videos. He is a really cool YouTuber that I think that you should go check out. Col uh, Colton... Rules used to be his YouTube name. He changed it though to Zelda Boy 57. Zelda Boy 57. Go check him out. Um, and I guess it's about time to call it quits for this video. So see you guys next time on Maniac Mansion. I am going to be making this into a series. I'm gonna try to finish the game. And next time we will see if we can get past the slimy green tentacle and see what is in the upper parts of the mansion. See you guys then. Later.